what has the actually well what went into I've never set up Mastodon. Like what what's the process of actually setting it up? Well, our process is different because we actually have like physical servers in a Japanese data center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So but otherwise we're just we're running a fork of Mastodon where we have our own changes, like we have our own set of uh emotes and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh yeah, installed on it. Uh to replace the default ones. Um and we also run like the glitch edition, which has like extra features, like you can do uh, markdown posts and stuff. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> um, where did I get to? Brain, brain, four oh four. But yeah, uh, we we run a modified Mastodon, and we basically right now they run directly on the server mm -hmm. uh, without like any containerization. But Lena wants to do some infrastructure upgrades. Mm -hmm. uh, soon, trademark when she has time. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> unless unless Lena decides to stream it, when does Lena have time? Uh, <laughs> when she's not streaming. <laughs> yeah, she she that, does twelve-hour streams. What do you? <laughs> I mean, she <clears throat> takes a good old nap afterwards, and usually I talk with her the day after. <laughs> sure. So. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Oh, my brain is like going blank. There's <laughs> <laughs> something else to say there. Um, uh, so, <clears throat> what made you want to go and set up? Bes uh, you know, besides the fact that you know all the Twitter stuffs happening, like people are going to places besides Twitter. We'll see if that they continue doing that or if everyone just gives up. But what made you want to go and set up your own master instance rather than just you know migrating to one that already existed? Uh, because it didn't exist one specific for VTubers. Uh, initially, mm -hmm. we were just going to make it the Node Party Live one and just like have only us on it. Mm -hmm. But then we later decided uh, maybe due to this entire situation, we should like expand that purpose to be just a VTuber instance. Yeah, yeah. At that point, we didn't know about the other VTubers instances that exist. So we just ended up creating uh, now the biggest VTuber instance. Wait, so there, one, there were ones that were there. It's just no, not really when we were using them. Yeah, they were like spawning around at the same time as us. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's that's a bit different then. I thought it was like one but that maybe had been a little bit established. Yeah, but uh, we're we're the one with the bit the most resources, mm -hmm. so we're also the biggest one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that that that's just how it be. <laughs> so, what's the uh the the moderation experience been like? Ha have people been civil? Have they been? Good internet uh, citizens, or if they have you had to like you know punish a few people. Uh, surprisingly, most people have been sensible. It's just like there's a few instances just dedicated to just harassing people that we've had to like defederate, but otherwise it's fine. Yeah, I can definitely. Well, <clears throat> there's definitely ones that are for that, but there's definitely ones that shouldn't be federated with anyway because they're hosting things that are not exactly legal. <clears throat> oh, that too. Yeah, we also just federate those yeah so. um i i i can think of i'm not even gonna bother listing them but I, there's definitely a few that are that come to mind um because i'm on an instance mm. that is pretty pretty open about federation like they'll federate with pretty much anyone but their list of they do have a couple of instances that are blocked and they are like the hey this is someone should send the fbi to the people running this server sort of instance yeah um, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with something being federated. Like, it's it's great that anybody can do it, but the problem is that anybody can can do it, and when anybody can do it, then you're going to run into people that are... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like... Uh, Twitter had that same problem, too. But, mm -hmm. like, with Mastodon, and basically any federated social network, uh, you as an administrator have the the ability to basically just eat those people so you can make a nice user experience for users. Mm -hmm. And, like, we, we are pretty, like, uh, also, like, we're not as heavy-handed when it comes to defederation. It's only when, like, the instance is either too scuffed, yep. uh, ha has way too scuffed things on it. Again, like, FBI should probably show up at their door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or uh, instances that are dedicated to, like, alt-right stuff. Because, mm -hmm. like... Uh, most of our users, uh, they would, they would not be happy about those kind of people harassing them, mm -hmm. and then just instances dedicated to harassing people. Yep, yep, yep. 
Yeah, there's definitely a lot of and, uh, a lot of those that exist as well. Yeah, so that that that's basically our federation policy. Otherwise, if it's just like some instance where like one person is a douchebag, then like yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, people can block that douchebag individually <clears throat> if they want to. Yeah, I've definitely seen. There are some, especially some big instances. Uh, the biggest instance, which are a little bit like that in some cases, where you look at their at their block list and you're like, I don't, I don't understand why this is blocked. I, mm. it, look, it, that, that's the thing though. Like, the problem that a lot of people are seeing with the way that the Mastodon works is the fact that they're just joining servers at random. Like, I've seen a lot of people that are like. You're like, oh, I got banned from this instance for, you know, there was a popular post going around, like, I got banned for this instance for being a capitalist. Um, I got banned from this <laughs> instance for uh. this thing or for that thing. Stop joining random instances. Look at their rules. Read the rules. Yeah. I mean, we also have, like, a strict, like, no NFT, crypto, whatever spam. Like, yeah, if you're yeah. doing that, then we're also going to ask you... Well, we're going to be nice about it. We're going to ask you to leave and let you migrate your account before we ban you. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, I, yeah, we... Well, when it comes to spam, like, that's that's different. Like, if you're just... Yeah. If you're just trying to be a nuisance, like, whatever, get out. Yeah. But also, just in general, we don't... We don't care much for like NFT crypto stuff, mm -hmm. so it's just basically if, if that's if that's your entire shtick, then please just find another server to be on. <laughs> mm, that's fair. No, I, I totally get that.